Hey, my HTG family. I want to make a quick vlog. Um, it's been tough. It's been a tough week. I'm, I'm exhausted. My family is exhausted. My dad is still in the hospital. He's been there for eight days. And tomorrow he's having open heart surgery. They have to replace a valve and either stitch or patch a hole in his heart. And so we have to be there so early. I wound up, I was going to load uh, just Sunday, one day, and I just didn't get any, I didn't get fats in, I didn't get protein in. There wasn't a whole lot of eating, and so I decided, um, what is today, Tuesday, Monday, uh, I went ahead and did some loading the best I could. So today I had a salad at the hospital with chicken and I just made my own dressing and took it. So I have not weighed myself to even see how much. I just couldn't. I mean, I was up so early this morning and then tomorrow I've got to be at the hospital at 6 a.m. So I'm sure I'm not going to be weighing myself. Um, so I just want to let everybody know that I'm still here and I, a matter of fact, it's 10 o'clock here in Kentucky at night, and I just made me some cottage cheese and some onions. I, ha I haven't ate since, you know, about 20 after 12, and uh, feeling a little bit hungry, but mostly just exhausted. And I know anybody that has ever had family members in the hospital and and been through this is knows how exhausting it is on everybody, including the patient. So my dad is, this has been a tough day for him because it's, we were going from taking him to a rehab center after he had edemia to going to, you know, guess what? They're going to crack your chest open. So, and he had already had a stroke seven years ago. So his right side, he has to have a walker and, and then he's 81 years old. Other than that, they did an angiogram on his heart, and his heart is perfect, no clogs, no nothing, to where my mom, 10 years ago, had a quadruple bypass. <laughs> so anyway, I just wanted to get this in here, and just to let you all know, I, you know, I don't know when I'll be weighing myself, but I'm going to I'm going to try my hardest to stay on phase two until I guess the 21st kind of put me behind and I was going to take another uh, planned interruption and then see if I wanted to start back up in January, which I don't know. So um, anyway, you know, right now I feel like I wish I could just fall right asleep. If I went in my bedroom right now and lay down, I would not be able to sleep. So I, I think I got some melatonin, so I'm going to try to take that and see what happens. So anyway, I just got on just seeing Facebook and seeing Susie um, Parker. Oh, my goodness. She is absolutely gorgeous. And Susie is gorgeous, her little leather outfit on. That might be me someday. We'll see. Anyway, I love you guys. I don't know how anybody's doing, you know, what's going on. I know Donna O is on around. Um, I can't remember. So, anywho, I got to get off of here and eat and take a shower and get hospital germs off at me and hopefully fall asleep. So I love you guys. A big hug to my HCG family and I hope everybody is doing well and all those that believe in prayer. I'd appreciate it. Thank you so much. Bye.